My name is Alain Tessier. I work in Fusion for Energy as project manager for the ITER cryoplant and fuel cycle. Today, the first European equipment has arrived to ITER. Six large-sized tanks have been delivered and they will be part of the tritium plant, which is where the fuel cycle will take place. This is a major achievement as Europe is a host of the biggest international energy project and out of the seven parties, Europe has the largest contribution, which is around 50% of the total. Therefore, we mark the beginning of a long list of components to be delivered. Regarding the contract awarded by Fusion for Energy to ENSA, this contract covers the final design and manufacturing of the tanks and is in the range of 2 million euros. And it brings together the expertise of Empresarios Agrupados and GEA as subcontractors. I'm pleased to say that we had a very good collaboration with our supplier, meeting our tight schedule and stringent specifications. My name is Giovanni Piazza. I work in Fusion for Energy as a technical officer for the tritium plant. To get fusion energy, we need two hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium, to interact at a very high temperature. We are talking of something around 150 million degrees centigrade, which is 10 times the temperature in the sun. The fuel will be supplied in the machine through the tritium plant in order to get a fusion reaction. Once the reaction is completed, the fuel left will be pumped back to the tritium plant where it will go through several washing cycles in order to recover the tritium. During the recovery phase, water containing tritium will be produced that will be stored in these tanks before the deterioration process starts in the water deterioration system. My name is Joseph Bennett. I work in Fusion for Energy as a technical officer for the tritium plant. The six tanks being delivered will serve different purposes and, different, and are different in size. Four of them will contain tritiated water and uh, are 20 cubic meters and weigh approximately five tons each one. The other two tanks weigh approximately 20 tons and uh, are 100 cubic meter big will only be used in uh, exceptional circumstances. It took nearly 20 months to design and manufacture these uh, six tanks being delivered. The tanks have been designed and manufactured following the stringent quality and safety rules which applies to ITER. These tanks can uh, support strong earthquakes, floods, fires and other extreme conditions. Currently, the tanks are being safely stored in this area and be, will be moved and installed in the tritium building before the end of the year and before the tritium is fully erected. My name is David De Francisco. I work in ENSA Equipos Nucleares as project manager for special projects area. ENSA has performed the final design, purchase of base material, manufacturing, testing and delivery of the six tanks which will be part of uh, ITER's tritium building. One of the main challenges we had to face was to coordinate effectively with all the parties contributing to the water detritation system. Thanks to our good collaboration with Fusion for Energy and ITER, we worked uh, all well as one team. In addition, due to the safety classification of the components, the entire manufacturing and testing processes had to fulfill the strictest uh, safety and quality requirements. ITERS is the world's largest experimental facility in the field of fusion energy. Of course, it is very important for ENSA to be part of this project, and because of this participation, we were able to develop cutting-edge techniques for manufacturing and testing to show to, to ITER that we are able to, to deliver these parts. We are very proud of the work we have made, and of course, I am very. I have to admit that uh, it was an enriching experience for me and my colleagues.